Guys, I'm in the middle of a fucking spiral. If they're not my type and they're my actual pattern, does that mean I don't miss the person, but instead I am struggling to process an interruption in something that was predictable? Think about it. If you are a neuro spicy neurodivergent like myself, you're in the middle of a task, you're in the zone, somebody interrupts you, we get flustered, we get pissed off, but we know the flow, the zone we can normally return to as long as that person leaves, as long as the interruption stops being disruptive. But when we break up with somebody, they it's a continued disruption. The interruption is their absence. Wait, wait, let me cook. I'm thinking about it like this. I'm in a cozy spot on the couch watching a movie with a blanket wrapped around me because it's kind of cool in the room. But as long as I have the blanket on, I'm fucking comfortable. And I don't even notice the draft anymore because I'm being, you know, kept warm by said blanket. The person that you break up with is the fucking blanket. So the blanket gets ripped away. Boom, it's gone. Just a imaginary hand comes out the fucking sky, takes the blanket. Now the blanket's gone. Person's gone. It's a continued interruption, but the thing is, it's not the person that I miss because if somebody gives me a new blanket, as long as it's not itchy, scratchy, as long as it does what the first blanket did, bitch, I don't have a problem. So is it the person that I miss or do I just not want to be interrupted when I'm comfortable? Do you see what I'm fucking saying? Like, because I was listening to Plan B by Meg The Stallion and she said, you better get on your knees and eat this mm, right before I have another do it for me. And I was like, that's the thing. It don't matter whose hunkata and whose head it is, as long as I'm getting some hunkata and some head. And I was like...